<sighs> Here we are again. This time I'm out on a solo wild camp with a difference. The difference is... Joey D's with me. Collecting wood while I waffle on to camera. Just how we like it. I'm gonna get a fire smashed up. We've only got an hour or two left of daylight. Um, and then tomorrow, we're camping tonight, and then tomorrow, we're getting up nice and early, and we're gonna to head to the coast. We've got our sea fishing gear. And we're gonna catch a fish. We're gonna catch a cod, at least a cod. Big winter cod. It's forecast to rain, it's gonna be cold. Do we give a fuck? No, we're gonna catch a big fish tomorrow small print we're not going to catch out we're going to get freezing we're just going to get really pissed and sack it off but optimism got to be glasses half full and we are optimistic if nothing else as well as camouflaged joey d there blending into his environment if his environment was a migraine So we're aiming for that bottle, it's quite far away. It's an old bottle that's full of mud so it's not going to go everywhere and whatever we break we're just going to bury anyway and it was already out here so what? Yeah. A million miles off. It was a million miles off mate and I could rewind this and show you how far that was. <laughs> this is it for fans. Joey D, bottle, bye bye bottle. So when this lad gets his eye in, this is what happens. You're safe. You're safe. Wow. First shot. It's not been. It's not been staged. Joe D can vouch for that, and he does not lie. Not even got my eye in, and I'm going to hit that bottle. Huh? Oh! I hit the post. The bottle was on. Humane. Right. One more. <laughs> one more. You could actually. You can actually see it on the. Yeah, the trajectory. If, you zoom, if you zoom right in, you can see that you've got to have a steady hand. And with your recent diseases, I'm, I'm not sure you do. So a little bit up from where I hit last time, guys. One more zoom right in up bottle. Right, one more. That's all I need. Third time. One to eye it up. Bottle cam. Two. Just to let you know you're there. And then three. I think I was a bit excited as soon as it went. Ah. I kind of tailed off. Honestly, yeah, it's all. Joe's not the best cameraman, but there you go. Just smack. Just I hit it. That's how you. That's how you do. Here's my catapult, though, so I am going to be amazing on. Oh, fans are just going to think you've edited that, mate. I haven't edited it. Have I edited it? No. No. Joey D says no, so it has to be true. Oh, it caused some serious damage. Make sure you don't lose any bits because we don't want to be we don't want to be spreading our troubles. <laughs> Get it out of here. So there you go, look. If that was a squirrel or a pelican or a marmoset or an old woman, that would have been down. Great shot. So there you go, Joseph. They, I've won. I've won the bet. It's your turn. Getting your eye in. I think I could hit it every time now. You say that every. You do say that every time. I say it every time because I'm a confident young man, the Conor McGregor of catapults. 
<laughs> this is it now. Do you want me to zoom in up bottle for when yeah, you hit it? Dying. Yeah, right. So. Daddy's bringing, Daddy's bringing home tea. Yeah, he's bringing home the bottle. Nah, he's bottled it. Oh, that was close. He's man. bottled it. That was very close. There isn't a prize for close sunshine. There isn't, I know. So, you right. Don't, you don't take home close. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. This is a medal your daddy won tonight? for nearly <laughs> hitting summit. <laughs> Your daddy came eight, think marathon. Go on then, son. Shame. Shame, that would have been a good one. That would have been page three on Catapult Monthly, that. Double page spread. One more. Right, he's having one more shot, and I don't know. I, for one, believe in you, Joe. Will, I will you on. Go on. No, nah, it was miles off, mate. It was miles yeah. off. Ate it. That, yeah, yeah, sounded like it. Ate it, but it just glanced it so it didn't have the beans. Give it some more, I'll give it some more pepper. Hit it again. Nice. Twice in a row. You can't edit that, can you? It's all on camera, mate. That's proof. Should we go for hat trick? Get to take ball home. Yes! Three in a row. Right, go for four. Go for four. Why not? Knocking it off this time as well. Got it again. That's four. Five. <laughs> Five. I've run out of balls. Five shots, run out of balls. Boom. Five. Squirrel killer. <laughs> the Conor McGregor of squirrel killing. Some of the fans are saying you're yet to even hit it. All of them are saying it, mate. All fans have gone, mate. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just you. There's, and all. There's no fans. Like, no. There's never any fans, anyway. No, there I is. I just used to cheer for myself. Yes. Just your mum and no one else. Oh, come on. Um, it's just not happening today, mate. That's not. I don't, I don't like that sort of attitude. This is it now. This one. The Dean Gaffney of catapults. <laughs> Go on. No, if you can't do it there, maybe it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's another world top beer, which is a, a particularly a particular favourite of ours. And this is a Scarborough Fair. It's an IPA, and it's the big guns. It's not pulling any punches. Scarborough Fair, big up on my Scarborough Algerinos. I've got it sort of inbuilt in me to like not like Scarborough because I'm from uh, originally just from down the coast from it. But even up, the coast. up the coast, Joe reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where I am. But yeah, some dude with a some sort of it looks like a hippie to me. He'd be getting the catapult. Looking over some ruins. Let's have a taste of it and see where she's at. Oh. She doesn't just slide in. She boots down the door in a pair of red stilettos and smashes it into your neck. Oh. We're up in the high, the high, I'd say nine out of ten. Right, it's one of my, it's, for value for money, it's one of my favourite beers, it's got to be said. Joe's give it the all, Joe's give it the thumbs up. Out of ten, what are you saying though? Nine's high, like. Nine's very high, it's too high, I've been too generous with it. It's just that first drink. 
Just saying eight. Consistent, good taste, drinkable, strong. Yeah, just like your good self. Eight. eight. Right, that's it. Eight. I've been swayed, I think it's an eight now that Joe said it's an eight. <laughs> so, Scarborough Fair, IPA, eight out of ten. Dying light, look at Joe there. He's got a backrest, huge tree. As have I. This could be a new we've decided just to put the fire in the middle of two trees so we have an instant backrest and already it's just comfortable. Mm. I like these kind of woodlands to sleep in, they're kind of they're really cool actually, they're really atmospheric. We don't like it yet, eh? No, I'm just too off look at this bit. Look at that beautiful light. That is just a stunner. The silhouettes are beautiful. Look at that. Just a classic example of teamwork making the dream work. As Joey D takes his saw over and starts sawing some wood while I finish film yourself. <laughs> while I film myself finishing my Scarborough Fair IPA. Beautifully dry. Like right, just cracked this. The second ale is the Shepherd's Watch. We've got a little picture of what looks like Matthew Kelly in his younger days of stars in their eyes carrying a sheep. Rich dark ale, ideal for keeping the chill of winter at bay. I'll take a wool blanket and a sleeping bag, but we'll have a we'll have a go. She's six percent, so she's not pulling any punches. She's elbow dropping you from top buckle, from third buckle. Let's see how she fares. Always get a good guzzle. Always get a good guzzle. Oh, is the app? That's a brilliant hoot, that. Ooh. Strong hooting. Did you know that the twits are the male owls and the twoos are the females all the other way around? Yeah. Dropping bombs. Um, wait a minute, let me get oh, that again. Response. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as instant as the um, as the Scarborough IPA. I reckon it's going to grow on me, but it's not an instant. So I'm giving that, I'm giving that a six and a half. I'm giving it a six. Is that bad? I don't know. I'm not, I'm <laughs> don't be swayed by Judy. I'm giving it, it I'm good. giving it a seven. That's it. It's a seven. That's fair enough. It's a seven because it's strong, so it'll get me where I want to go. But it's a seven. We'll we'll wait to see what Joey D gives it, and then we'll give it its final result. But for now, seven. Someone stacked it on way over in a in what can only be described as the bog of eternal stench. And as you can see, I'm having to dry out my shoes. Steaming nicely there. Socks. Just put them on a stick and put them at fire, they'll dry out soon enough. As long as you've as long as you don't put them too near fire so they combust. I imagine they smell beautiful. It's a lovely aroma just shredding through the woods there. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeons dropping out of trees. <laughs> Joey D's just about to go fucking... Oh, language Timothy. I don't care. If you're old enough to fucking look at the computer, you're old enough to deal you're with it. You're old enough to look at a computer. If you're old enough to look at a computer, you're old enough to deal with swear words. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joey D's hitting the... Um, shepherd's Watch. Yeah, the Shepherd's Watch. A.K.A. Matthew Kelly. Night's Watch. It, yeah, the Night's Watch. What are you saying? It's not... Doesn't hit you straight away as, a, as good as the other one. 
I don't. So I, I had to do that, man. I had to go in twice. I know what you're saying. It lacks a bit of body. Yeah. But I would. I'd say it's a good seven and a half. He's gone half more than me, guys. But I was saying seven, so we we're agreed. It's a grower. I think it's a grower. That's why I said. That's why I give it the half. Right. Seven and a half. You can tell me and Joey D know our beer because you know we've got there's a you synergy there. Because we <laughs> yeah. about it, it? we've scripted this for two months. This video, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So seven for that. Is that a world top? Yeah, same. Yeah, that's that. World top six percent, but it's just not the same. Seven, seven out of ten. Still good though. We're turning it up a notch. Just getting it to optimum temperature near the fire. These are all Christmas presents. This is a Pinot Noir, it's 2013. It's from Chile, and she might as well be a pork because she's 14.5%. She hasn't come to make up the numbers. She's come to take part. Right. So we're just having a couple of burgers. Again, they're from a farmer's market. All oh, proper clobber. We've got some gentleman's relish underneath. That should go down a treat. Let's cheers it. It's a gear change. It is a gear change. Going to wine from ale, but I tell you what, it's a good gear change. Tell you what you can see. You see that shining bit there, ladies and gentlemen? Yay. That's Joe D. Inconspicuous wearing reflective leg gear. Look at it. Move your legs. See, look at that. <sighs> Stealth. SAS, are you tough enough? Jaya Beta the Moon. Come on, Tapel 2. No. <laughs> oh, no. What is it? Je beta, beta the sky. Je m'appelle the moon. Come on, Tapel 2. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Right, we're off from Spain to Chile. Give my force a Pinot Noir. What does it say? Enjoy with red meats, pot noodles. Enjoy as part of a regular diet. Good stuff. Let's see how she fares. Oof. She tastes like a bruise. She tastes like a hemorrhage. Oh, like congealed, like a deep, deep red, very deep red, deeper than the other one. Nicer. More grown up. What sausages are they? I hear you cry. What other Joe? Kingfisher. They're Newt. just Kingfisher and Wood. Newt. They're just a couple of Newton Tabash. This one's Newton Cockney. Newton. This one is a Damsel and a Distress. Yeah. <laughs> that one's a Damsel in Distress on the left, and the other one's Joe's new girlfriend, so. <laughs> Figure that out. I <laughs> get okay, yeah. Flavoured sausages. We've, we're, we're living, we're living the life. <laughs> we're living the life of gods. 
Steven Seagal, what you got, sunshine? This will be the last entry for this evening, I think. Because I'm too baked. <laughs> I'm too... Have you started that other one? Yeah, I mean, I have, yeah. I'm balls deep into her. Do you want some? Come here. No. Come here. As it burns my hands. It's killing my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really hot. I can't, I don't know how much is in there. Same as. No, no, no. Quite a bit. Good. That was on film. I think we'll leave it for filming because I'm getting too. I'm waiting. <laughs> That's us awake in the woods. We're just getting a brew on now. The fact of the matter is. And let's not beat around the bush. I think we had too much to drink last night. Didn't we? Two bottles. Two bottles of vino. And a few couple of ales and, and what not. Ah, but it's we've woken up. It's a glorious to show you. So the fire's still smouldering from last night, so all we need to do. Pop a load of twigs on, and they'll just dry. They'll just dry out, and then just combust. Yeah. Don't normally roll with bacon sandwiches of a morning. We normally, uh, it's normally oats, or just the feeling of self-worthlessness for breakfast because of the amount which we've drank. But today we're going to have a bacon sandwich and got a coffee already. Just lovely to work, wake up in woods. Right, so I've got on softy trousers, merino wool leggings and a couple of layers on top. And then I've got that which is just um, like a sun reflector for a car windscreen, it was about two quid, packs down to nothing. That keeps the cold at bay and keeps the heat up. I've got a three quarter length airbed, sleeping bag, and just the wool blanket. Bacon and onion sandwiches. What's that? Onion, I hear you say. Apparently, according to Joe, a very gay, I mean, a very good friend of ours, an associate of mine, more of a friend of Joe's, named Richard Budker, once inspired Joe to make a bacon and onion sandwich and apparently Joe's never looked back so I suppose seeing is believing I'll give it a whirl it looks nice what's not to like bacon and onion sandwich on pumpkin seed bread last night's whittling project really sharp was a spoon but cacked it. So it's now a little spreader slash knife for around camp. And that's a nice little bit of silver birch. Okay. That's where we had our fire and our tents. Leave only brain cells again on this one, wasn't it? Leave only brain cells. And we'll make our way out of this glorious wood. Our litter's in this bag here. Look at it. So, let's go to the coastline.
illegal driving with one hand. Dangerous driving by Joey D there. No hands. No hands. <laughs> this is it now. We're not messing about. Look. We're at the coast, but we're blending in with civilians. It's too, we don't really like hanging out with people on here, and, but sometimes the fish dictate that we have to rub shoulders with other humans. Bad enough rubbing shoulders with that fucking airy fraggle there. But we're going to do it and we're going to do it for you guys and we're going to catch a fish. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. So yeah, I'm just using a cocktail bait of squid and lugworm and a pattern nostra rig uh, targeting cod but anything will do anything i'll take a fucking goldfish anything as long as it's edible and we can eat it Whew. so we're in i've just pulled in the first fish it's a beautiful beautiful evening joe's just sorting her out Lovely. It's just a nice little pollock and we'll have that for our tea. So all you non-believers, there you go. The never catch out. Well there you go, we've caught some at bagged. First one at day. Couldn't be happier. <sighs> Screaming reels. Another little fish. That's one. That's one down. See if we can get some more. Really happy about it. Really happy about it. Ah, buzzing, absolutely buzzing, so yeah, we'll just keep fishing, it's only going to get better as the sun goes down, the fish get more active and start to feed, so hopefully we'll get another couple before it's home time, and who knows, we might go and get a fire going and cook that up on a fire, the world is our oyster, we might go up on them cliffs. Or them. Who knows? I'm just happy. The happiest man in North Yorkshire. Joey D adds to his tally. Two fish. What could be better? Pulling in fish as the sun goes down. They're out there, mate. Perfect times. Makes me want to drink more red wine this evening, I think. We'll be having a celebratory uh, tipple this evening. Joe just, Joe just dispatched that fish with his axe, which is a rather manly thing to do. We'll leave this one here. Carpe diem. Peace. I've added a bit of a paracord wrap to the axe. 